La Bonne Parallel Plate Capacitor. The aims of this experiment are 1. To appreciate how a parallel plate capacitor can be made. 2. To make your own capacitor using aluminum foils and polypocket. 3. To use a digital oscilloscope and observe the frequency change due to the change of the capacitance from the homemade capacitor through a pre-built 555R stable circuit. Apparatus and materials. Polypockets. Aluminum foils. 555R stable circuits. Oscilloscope probes. Oscilloscope Crocodile clips, multimeter, weights, additional weights, tasks and procedures. Step 1. Use two poly pockets and gently insert one aluminum foil into each of them. This forms the plates of the homemade capacitor. Step 2. Switch on the 555R stable circuit and measure the initial output frequency using the digital oscilloscope. Observe the changes in the waveform due to the capacitance change. You could note the difference in sound as well. Step 3. Connect the homemade capacitor in parallel to the C1 capacitor of the 555A stable circuit and note the new frequency. Step 4. Measure and record the capacitance of the homemade capacitor using the multimeter. There are ways of increasing the capacitance for the homemade capacitor. 1. Increasing the area of the parallel plate capacitor by adding additional poly pockets filled with aluminum foils to the setup. Leads to the increase in the capacitance as measured using the multimeter. 2. Reducing the distance between the plates of the homemade capacitor by applying a weight to them. This also leads to the increase in the capacitance as measured using the multimeter. Additional weight further increases the capacitance of the homemade capacitor. This is shown in the setup above as measured using the multimeter. Thank you for watching.